Command Sergeant Major Scott Hentz was born on April 27, 1968 in Myerstown, PA, and graduated from Cedar Crest High School. He enlisted in the military right out of high school. He always had an idea that he was going to join the military one day. He swore under the National Guard in, on December 30, 1985. In the summer of 1986, Scott Hentz left for basic training in Fort Knox, Kentucky. Mr. Hentz wanted to be an accountant, so he signed up to be a financial management technician. I wanted to be an accountant, and there was a finance unit right down the street in Lebanon, and so I was like a recruiter's dream. I walked right in and said, this is what I want to do, and my ASVAB scores were good enough to do whatever I wanted. He served in Afghanistan and Kuwait. Kuwait is located in the Middle East, southwest of Iran. Afghanistan is in the Middle East, but east of Iran and west of China. Mr. Hentz was in basic and specialized training. He said, I was in decent shape, but not good enough shape. He did 10 push-ups for every letter he received, and one day he received 10 letters. He did his finance training at Fort Bend, Indiana. Mr. Hentz worked his way up through the military ranks, and he is currently a command sergeant major. The operations and war conflicts that Mr. Hentz served in were at Operation Desert Storm and Operation Enduring Freedom. In Operation Desert Storm, America wanted to help Kuwait from being invaded by Iraq. Iraq lost control of Kuwait. Operation Enduring Freedom is just another name for the war in Afghanistan. The original name for this operation was Operation Infinite Justice. Mr. Hentz is in the Army Branch of Service, but really he is in the National Guard. And to be even more specific, he was in the National Guard of Pennsylvania. The National Guard of Pennsylvania is only one branch of the total U.S. National Guard. They are civilians who want to provide protection to our community and our nation. The MOS of my veteran, Mr. Hentz, was 36B. 36B is the fi uh, finance management technician. These men and women deal with receiving, reviewing, and sending documents, contracts, check payments, financial reports, and etc. They also prepare obligations and payments according to the budget system and with differential government regulations. Lastly, a lot of soldiers are medals when they do something important to show a good quality in teamwork, responsibility, and etc. Mr. Hens has a lot of good qualities, obviously because he has earned many medals while in the service. The one he says he is most proud of is the Meritorious Service Medal from Afghanistan. The medal is presented to members of the United States Armed Forces who distinguish themselves by outstanding meritorious achievement or service to the United States. It definitely is a very major achievement. Throughout his 30 years of the service, Mr. Hentz has earned his, the rank of Command Sergeant Major. This is the highest rank that he can obtain. However, he can move up his rank and work for higher bosses. Currently, in the Pennsylvania National Guard, Command Sergeant Major Scott Hentz works for a Lieutenant Colonel. He is currently based out of Spring City, Pennsylvania. When Command Sergeant Hentz came back, he bring multiple items with him. Even though he was able to bring certain things, and he quotes, the, the military itself, you're not allowed to have any um, war prizes or anything that would be owned by the government or by the people. So you can't just go into someone's house and say, that's cool, I want that, I'm gonna bring that home to, to my house. So it has to be something that would be available for purchase. But he was fortunate enough to bring some cool items. Some of those items include handmade walking sticks with mother of pearl inlet. Bazaars, he found numerous Soviet items and brought some belt buckles back with him. Finally, he brought back many good memories and a couple more friends. Mr. Hentz was very happy to come home, though. He was never fully readjusted, readjusted to civilian life yet, although he is very involved in his community. He says, I try to stay busy. He is an assistant scoutmaster for Myerstown Boy Scout Troop 20. He is also the vice president for the Myerstown Recreation Board. Mr. Hentz is still in the military this day. He still lives in Myerstown and believes that it is a great place to raise your children. Mr. Hentz has no regrets of joining the military, he stated. Mr. Hentz is proud of his service and so is his family. He's thankful for everyone's support and a couple guys who saw potential in him. He mentioned and mentioned him throughout his career.